is up everyone be right back here welcome to another DIY episode of my V star 1100 so if you notice I'm holding this uh, huge turn signal lights so this is my stop turn signal so the plan is changing the stop turn signal light into kind of minimalist look and uh, something that looks pretty slick or something that that is brighter than this uh, stop turn signal light and also as a turn signal light well I can use it also as a driving light so that's the plan since I uh, painted my fork into black I want a black turn signal light and not too big not too small for the front so of course visibility to other motorists we're here oh hindi nawawala yung bakang dito no let's watch this next video after this intro First of all, thanks to brother Polly for this driving light that I DIY and use as my turn signal light for my Yamaha V-Star 1100 Classic. First, I cut the cable or wiring of the driving light to a certain length that I need. Then I cut the wire pin smell connector of my stop turn signal light for at least 3 inches each. And then I splice all the wire ends and add shrinkable tubes. And now time to solder the wires. So here's the wire or wires color coding. Black is to black, yellow is to blue. And then this red wire goes to this green wire pin. And then prepping this uh, shrinkable tube. Look at that. Now this is ready, time to do the next one. Wrapping this next driving light is almost the same as the first one. The only difference is the wire color coding. So I splice the end of the wires to connect it to the wire pins mail connector. And the only same color like the first uh, driving light that I did is the black is to black, yellow is to blue, and then the red goes to brown. The first one, the red goes to green. Again, this is the wires color coding of the second driving light slash turn signal light. And now time to solder. And also don't forget to put the shrinkable tube first And then after this soldering, heat blower the shrinkable tube. And now, time to test this badass look driving light and turn signal light in one. Alright. Now the wire color coding, just uh, follow the color 
of the wire pins, the female and the male wire pins. That is why I use the male wire pins of my stock turn signal light so that it's easy to connect them. It's like plug and play. And that is so bright. And now how about the turn signal light switch? Oh, look at that hyper flash. And uh, how to fix this? That will be my next DIY video. And now time to install this to this bracket that comes with this uh, driving light. And now it's my turn signal light as well. I think the best way to install this uh, driving light slash turn signal light is to keep the wire cable towards the inside. And now time to find the best route for this uh, cable to make it look clean and slick. I think I'm gonna zip tie this here. Now time to connect, same color. And next, and again time to connect, and then time for the test, whoa that is bright, Woo. and now testing the right and left turn signal light, notice the speed of the amber light turns to white. That is called hyper flash. And how to fix this? Check out my next DIY video.